Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on the hidden secret number 19 of why you can still have back pain. In this video, hidden secret number 19 is due to abnormal spinal curves. Now, before I go into the meat of this discussion, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what normal is for the spine so that we can understand what abnormal is. When you look at the spine from the front or from the back, it should be straight up and down, like, the, like a column that holds up a building. But when you look at the spine from the side, it has a curve to it, a gentle S-shaped curve. The neck area or the cervical spine has a forward curve. The mid-back or the thoracic spine has a backward curve. The lumbar spine or the low back has a forward curve. And then the tailbone or the sacrum has a backward curve. So the spines go forward, backward, forward, backward. Those curves are incredibly important to the spine. They're important for strength, stability, shock absorption, and protection. And if you lose those curves, you're gonna have chronic ongoing back pain. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Now, these types, these curves develop during infancy and during uh, when you're a toddler. When you're a baby, when you're still in the womb, you have a single curve. It's called a fetal curve. It's a single curve. It's actually the thoracic curve right here. The, the, the mid-back curve, and the whole entire spine is bent in that way. When you're an infant, and when you start to crawl and start to push up to look around, that's when you start to develop your secondary curves, which includes your cervical spine. And then when the baby starts to crawl, the weight of the abdomen pulls the lumbar spine forward, developing the second secondary curve, which is your, your, your lumbar spine. So these curves develop naturally during our childhood. Sometimes there are different events in life that can cause these curves to be lost, such as a whiplash trauma or getting rear-ended violently in a car accident. That will cause a loss of curve in the neck, which will then cause chronic neck pain. You can lose the curve in your low back due to a variety of traumas and mishaps, slips and falls, sports injuries, pregnancies, all kinds of things can disrupt the, cur the normal curves of the spine. And um, another, another note about the cervical curve in the neck area here. This has gotten a lot worse in recent years due to a couple things. Number one, are kids playing excessive amounts of video games where they keep their head down all the time. And also, people that have forward head posture while they're working on a computer. The forward head posture where your head shifts forward over your shoulders is, is very commonly coupled with a loss of curve. That will cause not only back pain, it will also cause pain going down your arms, headaches that go up into your head, and chronic pain between your shoulder blades. The other problem that occurs when you have lost these curves is that it can lead to Degenerative problems in the spine, such as arthritis, degeneration of the discs, these discs that occur in between each of the vertebrae, it's a condition called degenerative disc disease. It can lead to um, degeneration of the joints themselves, and it can lead to chronic ongoing back pain. Now, what do you do about this? Well, there's a couple different things that you can do. The, the, in my office, we have a procedure called mass correction. Mass is an acronym that stands for motion, alignment, and strength. And so for people that have lost their curves in their spine, the first thing that I, that I wanna do is to restore good quality motion to the joints and to the muscles. Motion has to occur first, because unless you get things moving correctly, no other part of this rehab program is gonna work. So the first part, you gotta get the, the joints moving and you gotta get the muscles moving correctly. The second part of this equation involves realigning the spine. And that's a very big component to the, the rehabilitation of the spinal curves. I will, uh, in addition to realigning the, the, the shoulders and the pelvis, I will prescribe a gentle traction device that helps to rehabilitate the curves in the neck and or the low back. The primary thing that holds that curve in place is ligaments. And these ligaments in the spine have to be stretched very slowly and very gently over a long period of time. 
they have a, an elastic quality to them. So if you stretch them out and then you let them go, they kind of just bounce back to where they were before, like a rubber band. But if you stretch them and you hold the stretch through traction and for a long period of time, over a period of time, it, st it starts to hold that new position and you can get the curve back. And then you take the pressure off the joints and the nerves. And then finally, you have to strengthen and stabilize the spine by prescribing specific corrective exercises that allows your spinal curves to be held in, in the proper, proper position. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about spinal curves or back pain, please feel free to communicate with me through my website at redapplewellness.net. Please also subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. And again, thank you very much for checking out this video.